SummerSlam 2023 match card predictions. We're going to go ahead and cover the entire night. We're going to go ahead and talk about the winners, the losers, as well as some May returns into the pay-per-view, which I'm pretty excited about. So be sure to go in the comments and give me your predictions on some of these matches. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to come out ahead? Also, be sure to drop a like to you guys if you want to see as to what's going to go down right there with the Tribal Chief. Let's bring it in, big dog. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to be looking at SummerSlam 2023 match card. Now, these four right here, they have not been announced in the match card. But as you guys know, there is a battle royale that it is happening. So I feel like we incorporate some of the most important lads that do not have a match that could potentially be in this, right? We got Sheamus. We got Karrion Cross. We also have Dominic and a whole bunch of others, AJ Styles. But for me, as far as like winner coming in there, coming out with the victory, I have to go with L.A. Knight. Yeah, let me talk to you, right? This guy has been on the come up, and I feel like a Battle Royale win could benefit him in so many different ways, right? Potentially a future title shot. I know some people may not be fond of the lad, but he's very entertaining, and I would definitely love to see him come out with the victory. Next up, we have Logan Paul versus Ricochet, and this should be a pretty entertaining one. I can't help but to feel that for the last several pay-per-views, I mean, the man has delivered. Logan Paul has been on the top when it comes to the viral moments he's done some pretty insane spots and given that ricochet is one of the top high flyers in the industry this should definitely be a banger now i do understand that there is a build-up here in the development they are definitely trying to put logan paul in the top card division as far as ricochet goes i mean the guy only knows mid card and i'm gonna go ahead and say this right now because there is no chance. There's like no opportunity that he's really been given to get, you know, for him to be in a top spot. So I think this right here is just another build up match. Again, there's going to be a lot of highlight moments. And I do think that Ricochet will come close, but I have to go with Logan Paul capturing the victory. Intercontinental title will be up for grabs. And I think this is just an important thing, right? You think of SummerSlam, you think of the history and where they've been. The Intercontinental Championship. It's definitely that. So given right here that we got Drew McIntyre against Gunther, you guys know that there's going to be some hard hits, there's going to be some big kicks, and there's going to be a huge crowd reaction to this match. Gunther has been delivering like crazy. Drew McIntyre, this guy knows his way around, and he's just kind of been like on this downward slope. So here's like the opportunity. Here's the chance to finally become champion. Now, will he though? It's not going to be an easy task. You guys know that Gunther, he's going to take him for every bit of mile. But at the end of the night, I do see Drew McIntyre knocking him out with a claymore and then pulling his hair back and says, yeah, if you guys are stopping by for the first time, hit the subscribe button and drop a like. If you guys want to see a new Intercontinental Champion, as well as the rest of the matches, let's check out the next one. Another one that I'm particularly excited about, especially after watching that documentary of Cody Rhodes, you guys got to go check it out. There is such a good backstory to what's developing here in WWE, right? He's come back for one reason and one reason only, and that is to become WWE Champion. Now, this is not an actual title match. This is kind of like the stepping stone to finally get to that point. And Brock Lesnar, I'm not going to go ahead and call him a stepping stone, but you guys know this guy is a ruthless savage, and he's not going to go ahead and give him an easy victory. Now, if you guys do think that Cody should come up here with a dub, well, again, you probably in part of the percentile that wants to see the childhood dream come true. But as far as the, at the end of the day, given the fact that he's got one over Beastie, I do think that Brock Lesnar should be able to pull this one up, and there should be one more match following to kind to determine as far as who is the top contender for the title shot following but yes i gotta go with brock lesnar here talk about the odds being stacked against you and look rollins he's never really been one to back down from a fight but finn balor i mean this is the only time i think that i've recalled out of SummerSlam prediction history where i was like he needs to bring back the demon he needs to bring back what's going to get him the victory well now he doesn't necessarily need that. He could just come out here, regular ass Finn Balor, but having Judgment Day behind him, like you think about the last couple of weeks and what Judgment Day has done, right? We got some victories over an NXT brand new title. We have dub after victory. We have a money in the bank, man, on the same time, which 
could easily interrupt with the actual title match. I mean, he could cash in. But as you guys saw on Monday Night Raw, out of respect, there is some true love behind these two. So I don't see the cash in happening. It will occur. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it will be in a match where Finn Balor is partaking in. But nonetheless, I don't see Rollins losing the title, man. Balor, I understand he's trying to come back. He's got this whole grudge situation, right? You think about it. The very first time these two went at it at SummerSlam several years back, it was also for the introduction of the new title. But given that we got some development between also between Rollins and Cody, because you guys know Cody will be following eventually, I don't see the man being dethroned right here by Finn Balor. I hate to take that away from you, bro, but I'm going with Rollins. This one has not been announced, but the tag team title. I mean, it's SummerSlam. They got to be defended. And I do think Kevin Owens right here should be able to bring the fight to the rest of the Judgment Day. Now, here's my thing, right? As we did talk about with Rollins, he most likely will retain. So I don't see a night where Judgment Day will be walking away with the titles. I mean, if you've been winning like night after night after night for the last several weeks, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, Given SummerSlam, I don't see them capturing the titles quite yet, but it doesn't mean that Dominic won't come in here and eventually capture the titles. I mean, it's going to be something that they're going to have to work for. It's not going to be dropped on their lap, and if it is, it's going to be a moment of shock. But yes, I'm going to go with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn retaining the tag team titles. Here's another one that hasn't been announced, but again, Intercontinental Championship, it's got to be just as important as the United States Championship. They're equivalent to one another. They're the mid-card titles. And again, not given a match. You know we're going to see this. There is always more matches that do develop throughout the week of SummerSlam. And I do think that Escobar, he wants to step up to the plate. He wants to see and test the theory of Austin Theory and see if he can become champion. But again, I don't see him quite yet in that position. Like the LWO has been working for him, but I still got to go with Austin Theory retaining the title. Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler and this I actually never saw it coming I thought they were a well-oiled team I saw like great potential as far as them being together for all of WWE tourney but as you guys know all good things do come to an end and Ronda I think it is time right I think it's to individualize yourself I mean after all you were killing it in UFC and not that I'm saying she don't need her I mean you always need a good friend but I do think that Ronda will come up here strong and will definitely come in here with the dub Ronda Rousey for the victory WWE WWE Women's Championship title on the line. And I know you're asking, Hero Figs, you're missing a character. We're not missing anybody, right? We got Bianca Belair. We got Asuka. And we have Charlotte inserting herself. Not to get in line, but because she is the line. And that was an insane promo. I loved it. A few weeks back, she came in there. Her, Bianca Belair, she's like, bro, you ain't ready. You just came back. It's like, dude, she's got so much history in the women's division. Why would she not? insert herself into this and this is kind of the wild card because as you guys know these two right here can go at it now when you throw in charlotte in the backflips all that high flying action that you guys know and love this is going to be an interesting one and I, this triple threat match should definitely bring a solid problem maybe even the highlight match of the night again it's early predictions but if i were to say who's coming in here and coming out with the victory and still retaining the title Definitely Asuka. Look at that. The look you make when you don't know what the hell you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> I think that's the best expression you can put on this figure, which is insane because this is the perfect time to have that scan on that figure now that he's stepping in here for the title against the big dog, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Now, there is so many odds. Like, you talk about odds being stacked against you. There is none greater when you have a man like Solo Sokoa hanging out at ringside. And one of the greatest right there, as far as on the mic, Paul Heyman. I guess, obviously, the wild card, it's got to be that freaking Samoan spike. You get struck with that, bro, you ain't coming out here with a dub. You're going to be knocked out, and then you get a spear on top of it. Yeah, there's just no way. I mean, really, the only way that I can see Jay coming in here and actually capturing the victory, I don't see it's going to be clean. Obviously, it would be one where still Roman would retain the title, but it would definitely require the help right there of Jimmy, right? I know J Jimmy's in the hospital. He's trying to get well, but SummerSlam, I mean, it evokes such energy out of superstars, right? Especially ones that are right there on the bench. I do see him coming in here, and I definitely see some super kicks being laid down, but I don't see a new tribal chief being crowned. It is tribal combat, which should bring a very good, interesting factor to the match itself, but I still don't think being enough weight right there for Jay to come out here as the 
victor. Now, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of SummerSlam. I want to hear your favorite matches that you guys are looking forward to. Who do you think is going to win some of these matches? And also, do you guys plan on watching? Do you guys plan on hanging out on Saturday? Is it Saturday or Sunday? We're going to watch it nonetheless. So definitely turn on that notification bell. Drop a like. And we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. All right, man. Let me check out that Samoa Spike. Oh!